we're gonna talk about the desert. There are four types of desert, tropical, temperate, cold, and coastal. Okay, so the geography of deserts. There's Deserts cover more than one-fifth of the Earth's land, and they're found on every continent, including Antarctica, because there's cold deserts. And the largest desert, desert in the world is actually in Antarctica. That's just a fun fact. Um, deserts have a low annual precipitation with hot days and cold nights. Hold on. Pause. Would you like to elaborate on that? Yes, deserts have to have, to be considered a desert, it has to have less than 10 inches of rainfall per year. Okay. Um, succulents, drought tolerance, and drought avoidance are three char characteristics of plants that are necessary for the plants not only to survive, but to also thrive in the environment. Succulent plants, they store water in their fleshy leaves, stems, or roots. They must be able to maintain their water hordes in a desiccated environment and to use it like as effectively as possible. Um, they have few leaves, like they either have few leaves, no leaves, or leaves that shed during the dry seasons in order to maintain water. Um, and most of these plants will go through cam. For drought tolerant plants, they shed leaves during the dry periods. Um, most water loss is from the transpiration, so dropping leaves conserves the water in the stems. Um, the roots of these plants are more extensive than those than those of the plants in wetter climates. And unlike succulent plants, which absorb water only when their the soil is saturated. Um, drought tolerant plants can absorb water from soil that's much much drier and drought avoidance um, these plants die during unfavorable conditions and they live for a short period of time and just to produce seeds animals in the desert have to adapt to their environment so they have to um, be able to carry water for a long amount of time so general characteristics of animals include that they are nocturnal because the days are so hot. Um, they have burrows, long ears. They're usually small. They conserve water and they are dormant. It's soil. Um, the soil in the desert is rich with nutrients and is very dry throughout the season. Can you say that again? I'm sorry. Yeah. The soils are rich with nutrients and dry throughout the season. Right. Okay, so environmental problems of desert of deserts include global warming, which could lead to increases of drought, which could easily impact the plants and animals that live there. And high temperatures in some deserts may cause forage fires, which could lead to deforestation, which is also not good. And then off-road vehicles could cause environmental problems because they damage desert habitats. So a way to stop these environmental problems is by is stopping the use of off-road vehicles and try to reduce global warming. Do you know, do you know what the off-road vehicles problem is? Did you say that? Did I miss yeah. that? What? It, um, it damages desert habitats. Like what? 